Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video I'll be showing you how to download and install Data Loader. So go to the quick find, type in Data Loader, put a space in between, and click on Data Loader. So there are some prerequisites needed in order to install and run Data Loader. So as it states right here, on the directions. Um, you need a JDK version 11 or later for Windows. Uh, you need to download and execute the .msi file. So once you click this link, it will direct you to the website. You're going to scroll all the way down here and you'll find different versions, different packages and such. So right over here, I picked this one. I downloaded it and installed it. It's pretty easy. Just download it and then uh, execute the file and just follow the wizard so I also already downloaded data loader but let's go ahead and install it together so right over here you get a zip folder so what you want to do is the first thing you want to do is you want to extract all so I'm just going to extract it all here So here is the install.bat file. So let us install that. So BAT files seem to be risky on Windows, but seeing the fact it's directly from Salesforce, it should be just fine. So you're going to click uh, more information and then click run anyway. So here's the terminal. Um, it requires Zulu Open JDK 11 to run. As mentioned, I already downloaded it and installed it. So it's asking for the default directory or, you know, wherever you want to place it. So it's going to be right here. So I'm just going to keep going it says do you want to over rewrite the installed version uh, yeah sure let's just say yes would you like a menu shortcut yeah of course it makes it much easier so just type in yes so would you like to create a desktop icon yeah yep of course just type in yes and enter So, press any key to continue. Now, let's look for data loader. So, at the time of this video, this is data loader 51. So, you may have a different version of data loader. Who knows in the future? Click more info, you're going to run anyway. It's checking if this is installed, the JDK. It's doing its thing and voila, here you go, data loader right over here. But keep in mind, um, keep this terminal open because uh, if you close it then that means uh, data loader won't work. I will be making videos on Data Loader in the future. Um, I hope this helps. Thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one.